So Michael, this piece started with a commission that I offered you from the Tanglewood Music Center's Festival of Contemporary Music. And uh, at that point, there was no specification of what the piece would be, and so you, you really didn't know what, what it would end up being. I had no idea. I, I found myself, as is my routine, exercising on the exercise bike in, the, in my local gym. And I picked up a copy of the Harvard Magazine and read a fantastic review of this book, The Garden of Cosmic Speculation. And I was just knocked sideways by this. I immediately went out and got the book, read it from cover to cover. I was very anxious to actually go to the garden. And although it's private, there is an entry in the book with an address uh, by which one is encouraged to, to write to, to have a viewing of the garden, although only groups are accepted to view the garden. And I wrote a letter saying, of course, I'm not a group, and I'm a composer, and I'm not a group. I'm not a, yeah. And I, um, he didn't respond. Charles Jenks, the, the architect, didn't write back. So I went ahead and, and wrote, at that time, two movements. And I knew at that point I would write at least two more movements. Uh, I didn't know whether I'd get them done for the first performance, but that was my secret. And, and I enjoy working, actually. I think I work best, in all honesty, with the deadline fast approaching. It, it allows me to be more direct and immediate. I'm an improviser. I was an improviser. Was my first uh, access to music really was, was through improvisation, both at the piano and on the guitar. Composition is not so much like that, as you know. It's, it's a long process. I mean, to sit down and make all those notes and then copy them all and then have parts and proofreading and all the trappings of making a piece of music. Well, in fact, your relationship to improvisation and your experience with it affects the large-scale design of this piece. I, I feel, especially in this case with this vast garden, to have a set number of movements performed in a set way. Well, first I'll say it's not the way in which one experiences the garden. So why should a piece of music have a fixed path? Uh, the garden is open. You choose your own pathway through the garden. So I decided with this piece there would just be an array of movements, um, any number of which could be selected and ordered and put into performance. And of course, all 11 movements can be done as well. And furthermore, there will be more than 11 movements, ultimately. The garden itself continues to grow. And there's also other aspects of the garden which I'll address, um, perhaps a trip to the garden in the winter mm. and have a series of movements uh, just based on experiencing the garden in the winter. I'm very inspired by it. Uh, I, I, this has somehow just hit the right buttons in me. And, and it's a real joy to sit down and, and write these movements, to write these pieces.